Welcome, I'm Denise Haynes from R&R Property and this is podcast number 14. Today I'd like to chat to you about bushfire safety. Something that seems to concern buyers when they are considering moving to the country is the threat of bushfire. This is understandable given the tragedies that have occurred in Australia previously. The good news is though that there are ways to help prevent the damage and prepare yourself and your family should it occur. We are lucky enough to have dedicated volunteer rural fire brigades in each of our areas who all band together to save our communities and homes when bushfire does threaten us. They are an amazing crew who risk their lives to save ours, sometimes fighting for days on end in extreme heat and danger. The community is so lucky to have them. The RFS also has an aviation unit and contracts aircraft for fighting fires from the sky. Helicopters and planes water bomb areas extinguishing or slowing down the flames before they get near homes. Here are some tips that we have put together for you according to the Rural Fire Service or RFS. Preparing your home to survive. Make, your, make yourself aware of whether you are in a bushfire prone area. There are sites that you can visit that will tell you this. Clean your gutters regularly from sticks, leaves and debris. Metal gutter guards, steel fly screen on doors and windows are recommended. Make sure you maintain any holes, gaps, missing roof tiles etc on your home to eliminate places where fire embers can enter. Install a sprinkler system on your roof spaces and um, gutters. It'll fill in the gutters. Have quality hoses long enough to water down your entire home and shedding. Ensure gardens and surrounding trees are trimmed and maintained and keep lawn short. Keep a separate water tank full specifically for firefighting purposes. Of course, ensure you have home and contents insurance that covers loss from bushfire. Keeping your family safe. Always have a bushfire plan that you discuss and stick to if the need arises. Watch the fire, wind rating and updates regularly if there are bushfires in your area. Have a survival pack which you can quickly grab and take with you if you have to evacuate. Items recommended by the RFS to take are a battery operated radio, spare batteries, first aid kit, waterproof torch, candles with waterproof matches, woolen blankets, emergency contact numbers, waterproof bag, cash, credit cards, medications, toiletry items, mobile phone and charger, pocket knife, important docs and photographs, a change of clothing for each family member plus drinking water. Ensure your pets are in a safe place if you can. Have a little safety pack for any that you can take with you. Example, cage, leash, medication, food, drinking water and a comforting toy. Identify a safe community place that you can evacuate to in the event of a bushfire. Keep loads of drinking water available and drink lots to prevent dehydration. Wear clothing that will protect you as much as possible, such as denim jeans, leather boots or shoes, a wide-brimmed hat, glasses or goggles, gloves, a non-synthetic mask or cloth and a cotton or wool long sleeve shirt. All in all, bushfires are a part of an Australian summer, something we all have to deal with from time to time, one way or another. Thankfully, they don't seem to occur frequently, but being prepared and having a plan is the best bet you can make for survival. I have lived in the Stroud area all of my life and yes, there have been bushfires over the years, but they have always been controlled by our wonderful teams of Rural Fire Brigade women and men volunteers. So just a, I'd love to give them a shout out. Thank you guys. We really, really appreciate what you do for us. Now, if you would like to go onto our website, uh, you can find this in the form of a blog. 
um, which will also provide you with a link to download your free bushfire plan. You can also go in, there's a link to check whether you are in a bushfire prone area. Um, and there's also another general link just to the RFS, RFS website. So go in there, check it out. Um, look, you know, if it can just give you one little tip that helps you, that would be wonderful. So thank you so much. I'm Denise Haynes from the R&R &R property team and we're in Stroud and Buller Dealer and we cover a large area surrounding those offices. So thank you so much once again.